guys, welcome to episode 16 of Building the Most Livable Country. Let's see what's going on. Welcome to the Williams Corporation Display Home. Come on in. Here's some of the stuff that comes standard with all of our homes. Five kilowatt Fujitsu heat pump. Blackout blinds, so it's nice and private. Wash basin with a drain at the bottom. And we've got lots of double plug power points. And what we do as well, we put the water cylinder outside, so we've got room for a beautiful towel cabinet. And light dimmers right by your bedside. And also an outdoor shed. So since I started with Williams Corporation last year, we've made lots of, you know, really awesome changes to the way that we run our sales team and our sales meetings. So in this week's sales meeting, we ran through a bunch of different things. We started off with the stock game, which is really, really fun. Um, Matt quizzes us on all the different stock that we have available in Christchurch and Auckland. Um, there are no prizes, there should be prizes, but there's not. The second thing we do is a contract role play. So we sit here as a team, go through scenarios that might come up um, when you are signing a contract contract, say you need something added to it or you don't understand the clauses, we make sure our team is really really onto it with stuff like that. Next thing we do is a Zendesk review and so Zendesk is the database administration that we use or the CRM and um, that's what I'm in charge of, I make sure it's all looking nice, the pipeline's always full, that kind of thing. So we went through a few different things like workload, auto tasks um, and conditional contracts. Workload is massive this month. I think everyone has about 220 deals each in the pipeline, which is huge. The next thing we did is Cardone training, and that's something we talk about heaps. We all do this thing called um, Grant Cardone University. It's a really, really awesome American university by GC himself. He's really cool. We've got an awesome support crew over there. We call them up every Tuesday morning at about 9.30, and we sit there and we talk through the problems that we're having in the week. We talk about things that we could do better and things that, um, you know, tips that they can give us to help with our sales process. Hey Hasslings, I'm Matt from Williams Corporation. So I'm just talking about stock of the week. So we've got a development, 186 Salisbury Street, which is, if you think Briscoe's on Salisbury Street, directly across the road from that. Uh, good location if you want to be close to town, bad location if your partner likes shopping at Briscoe's. Um, it's a block of five freestanding townhouses. So the two two bedroom ones are sold. There's one two bedroom townhouse still for sale. It's right in the middle of the block, it faces north. Uh, brilliant property if you're looking for something right in the middle of town. Hey guys, how you all going? I thought today I would do an interesting thing that's happened this week in Williams Corporation. So hopefully you can see my screen behind me. On Wednesday night we had a very interesting activation on one of our sight cameras, which was this nice young gentleman who you can't really see, covering up our sight camera and stealing it. Um, because you sort of see his arms, he thought he needed it more than we did. But what was really interesting is two days later, this occurred, where he actually turned the camera back on in his own living room, and he started filming. Um, and I've got about 10 minutes of footage, and you'll see the nice guy stick his big ugly mug in the camera in a second. Um, it's pretty less funny to watch, we don't have time, but if you do know who this guy is, um, maybe let me know. But that is an interesting thing that happened. Um, that they stole our sight camera and then were stupid enough to turn it on in their own living room. Um, so the police now have that footage and if you know who that is, just feel free to reach out. 